Hello everybody and welcome back to an episode of Gungeon. We're jumping in again. I'm going to go as Bullet this time because it's been a while. Also, why is... Yeah, I guess I why is my camera not moving? Although I am also going to go and enable turbo mode, I think. Because um, I haven't played on turbo mode in a really long time. And I'm just kind of feeling it. I'm, I'm just kind of feeling getting back to being able to move a bit quicker. And I think that I've like sort of gotten back into the groove of the game sufficiently enough to make turbo mode not a complete nightmare for me. Uh, I guess we'll see. And um, it's kind of why I want to play bullet. Because obviously bullet, we have to protect our red health to start with to make sure we can fire our swords. And so, one, it means I can kind of play fast and use turbo mode to enable that even more so but also it means i have to play a little safe to make sure i don't get hit on my uh, red health too quickly and lose my sword ability which could cause me some issues so it's kind of like both a punishment and a reward which i kind of like the idea behind good stuff i i, I mean i absolutely love it like doing speed runs as this guy and like guard flashing and stuff is like oh my god that was so fun I, I can't remember how to guard flash on controller now i did know at one point but um basically you fire and then like slice and then reload all at the same time by while turning around it's pretty it's pretty crazy um oh i do really like the neon gun neon gun is very fun uh it's kind of kind of a weird like way to do it on controller but it is really fun basically it just hits the entire room which is always beautiful Hello again. Uh, I don't know what the Dark Prince is. I've never seen that before. And that is half price. That's an S tier item. Um, I very highly doubt we're going to get 84 um, before the end of the floor. But one can dream. One can dream. Extra key is lovely. Yeah, I like being able to speed through the early floors before we get a sort of a flagship gun. I feel like there's always one flagship flagship gun of every run. Um, and we've got to sort of hold out until we get that. Good stuff. Is he going to fire at me? No, he's not. Good. good. But yeah, I think 84 might be slightly unrealistic. Roll my way into the middle, then every enemy spawns on the outskirts. It's lovely. Is that everyone? That is everyone. Yeah, I'm liking turbo mode right now. It's just it's just enjoyable to be able to like move faster. I don't really like care whatsoever about the combat improvements. Just moving faster by default is nice. We get ourselves whatever the hell this thing is. This is the Infinity Lockbox. Uses all of your keys to spawn up to an infinite amount of rewards. Opening one reveals an equally large box inside with just as many locks. Interesting. Interesting. So you could use one of my keys right now to give me rewards. I'll do that, you know. I'll do that. Okay. So it's a single-use item. I didn't read that, apparently. Uh, it might have said that, but I didn't read it. Um, and it gave me a half heart, which I feel is um, terrible. Maybe, 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 just maybe, I didn't read her correctly. And, uh, oh, this is bad. This is real bad. Yeah, this is, this is real bad. <laughs> But yeah, maybe I should have read more. Maybe it just didn't say. I don't know. Man. I forget how fucking difficult it is to fight this guy. Yeah. Oh, I did actually die. Surprisingly. I thought I was definitely going to die. Um, where my fucking item at? Okay, I'm going to be restarting this run. Apparently, I just don't get a boss item. Not quite sure why that was, but uh, I'm going to be restarting that one real quick because that went to shit pretty fast. And yeah, also that infinite lockbox was, uh, I, I mean, I, I kind of knew that I shouldn't use it with just one key. I mean, I can't really fault it for giving me only half a heart. It did say, like, use up to an infinite number of keys. Like, use all of your keys at once. So, clearly, it wants you to use, like, five at once sort of thing. Um, but I, I thought it was multi-use. I thought you could use it more than once. 
So, my bad, I guess. But anyways, that first floor, obviously, was pretty quick, so we don't have to fret about wasting time or anything. We can do it again. Oh, really? Another brown chest? I do like rolling into enemies for extra damage if I can. It's pretty fun. It's kind of obviously sketchy, but it is fun. This is a kind of crazy room here. A lot going on. You spawn inside a table, my guy. Not healthy. Okay, this room is crazy. Oh, there was a fucking bomb guy there. Okay. That was a crazy room, that was. It's not going well so far, people. It's not going well so far. I just want to play as the bullet and be able to actually kill things and not walk into a room and instantly fall into a pit. Who would make that? Why? <laughs> Why are you the way that you are? Yes, I could have just slowed down and realised, but... No. I will never. I will never slow down. Cool. I do love that roll damage, man. It's so satisfying. It's very satisfying to like, this is why I wanted to play as this guy on Turbo, because it's just so fun. You just move through the rooms at such insane speeds. That's nice. <laughs> Followed by being not so nice. Oh, we got Junkin again off the bat. Baby Goodhammer or Junkin? I mean, we've we've done a Junkin run kind of recently, so I, I, I'm, I'm sort of maybe saying don't go for Junkin and go for the Baby Goodhammer instead, whatever it's called. I need 42, I think it was, for the hammer. Just gotta make that work. Right. Good, good. Keep it going, baby. Oh, man, it's super speedy. Oh, we'll go in here. We got Frail Heart. Grants three heart containers, fully heals the player initial pickup. When the player takes damage, all in heart containers will be removed. Oh, lol. That is sketchy. That is sketchy. I like the idea, though. I like the idea. Because you're a bunch of HP, but it's not, it's not so permanent. Not like it used to be. Come on, money. Where you at? I'm getting, like, pennies from each of these rooms here. I want my hammer. Like I said, I think it was 42, although I'm not entirely sure. We got ourselves this gun. The Octagon, or whatever it's called. Right. It's 46! Damn you, game. This thing does really good damage, by the way, so I will be using this to just cut the room in shots that they'll eventually walk into. Good thing is, as well, I can, like, pile up the shots and then whip out my sword if I wanted to. You just keep walking to those shots, my buddy. Thank you. Um, is this the one that costs HP? Yeah, it is. Okay, I do not want to fire that for right now. In fact, as this character, it's probably something that I can't really fire at all. Give me that hammer, baby. Right, um, we are away. Lovely. We got some armor as well, which is rather nice. We'll probably use the Octagon on occasion for certain rooms and bosses. Just It's just nice that I can fire it, sort of fire and forget. 
And that's going to be lovely to use. Keep that in my secondary. Baby Good Hammer is going to do some good stuff as well. I do really like Baby Good Hammer. And as well, I'm pretty sure he like evolves or something, doesn't he? Baby Good Hammer. And eventually he becomes like amazing. Or is it like later in the stages he evolves? I can't remember. Oh, that was a bad hit. Boom. Thank you, Hammer. I like the way he returns to Bebski. Oh, that was a room that's very hard to not get hit on for me there. I kind of activated all of those bells by accident. I didn't really mean to. Oh, fuck off, you spider twat. Oh, you... This fucking game sometimes, man. Leave me alone. Would have had my fucking thing back if it hadn't have hit me there. Oh, and then we get this beautiful room. I want to kill myself. I actually, I actually want to kill myself. Please, just let me. Let me have my goddamn sword fun, please. Oh my lord, Turbo Murder's got on me. It's, it's it's not it's not as easy as I remember it being. Apparently we've got some health in here. We're still a full heart off. How? Oh hello. Didn't know we've made it to you in time. Buzz kill would be nice. Magic bullets is fun. Just on time, pal. Yeah, we've got like barrel stuff with this thing. When you do it, it hits pretty hard. Lovely, extra key there. This isn't a great combo of weapons to have without having my sword available. Alright, there you go. A wave of shots towards him. Beautiful. Amazing. Ammo for it is quite good too because it does kind of eat through it. It's been a long time. It's been a long time without Corruption Bomb, my god. The hell's this thing? Oop, does it just make water as we walk? Brought into the gungeon by the legendary vampire hunter, Dr. Van Helsing, the glistening water has been thrice blessed by the head priest of a distant planet, uh, monast monastery, yeah. It has become a powerful weapon against the undead and gundead alike. Um, well, it's most of them. I'm guessing it does damage to, to jammed enemies. It's like holy water, I'm guessing. No! My baby good hammer! But the corruption bomb's so good though. Baby good hammer, I'm sorry. If only you were a passive item. We could have made it work. I corrupted the rat. what we get. Really? Give me curse for killing the rat? Bitch, why? Right, anyways. This is... Didn't expect Corruption Bomb on this room. Corruption Bomb is very fun. 
Okay, it's fearing them? Okay. Seems good. Stop teleporting away from my shots. Use the well rod here. <laughs> the fear is causing some shenanigans right now for these enemies. Can they literally not touch me? Okay, I think they can. If, if they're lucky, I think they can. It's making it very, very hard to uh, hit these guys. This guy's a mega cursed as well. Get back here, you. Oh, he just like yeeted himself into a pit. Okay. Well, God damn, this guy being white is kind of interesting. Like that. I like the uh, the visuals of this holy water effect. This weapon's doing bits, man. This weapon's great. I remember it being good before, to be fair. Sign personality, not bad. Okay, tis the season to be boss time. I can't remember what this does to help us with bosses, but I've done it now anyways. I think it also acts as a blank, so we can use it to blank stuff too. Kind of a weird one. Oh god damn, these rockets are fast, man. Good, good, good. Not too bad on him. Not too bad. We've got the rebar puncher. Switching away and back makes it fires an additional six. Oh, hello. Safety scissors. Passive. What do the safety scissors do? Chest will no longer spawn with fuses, even a blunt blade. As this in case the wrath of the jammed. Okay, fair enough. Do you want anything from you? I can't remember. Um, I'll take magic bullets. We got synergy with it as well, apparently. Oh, okay. I guess I'll give that a go. Yeah, there's the extra nails. I kind of like that idea. Switching back into it fires extra stuff. I think that's a reference to the um, the the robot dude in Risk of Rain 2. Because he's got two different firing modes. One that fires nails and one that fires rebars. There we go. Some sort of charm uh, magic based effect on the fire poker here. Fire poker is a pretty fun weapon actually. a little bit janky to use. We created a jammed chicken there. Hey! Gotcha, you real bastard. I'm not, not looking forward to this jammed chicken being a part of our... Uh... Is there anything else in this room we need to kill? Ah, uh, this guy, I think. There you go. Yeah, this thing's just amazing. <laughs> it's quite fun to use as well. It's a little like it's a little awkward. Ow! Bad hit. The explosion doesn't always like come out exactly on the tip. It does most of the time, but sometimes it kind of—I don't know if it's buggy or what, but. Sometimes it's a little hard to get that working, as it should be. Ooh, don't see that very often. I don't exactly know what the synergy's doing, by the way, but I'm just utilizing it to the best of my ability here. Just to see what kind of shows up. Taking some dumb damage here, but I'm no longer reliant on my uh, sword, so that's not so bad. 
a instant chicken. Maybe it's just got a higher chicken chance. Good. Got a link room over there as well. Try and get this chest, whatever it is. We're not actually not got any keys, so we can't get the chest yet. Are we immune to fire? I think we are. Yeah, we are. Well, we're holding this thing at least for immune to fire. Oop, what the fuck? Die, you. Green chest I would like to uh, save up for, please. Makes the floor a little hard to see. Like I said, I still don't really know how exactly how that affects basic rooms. But it seems to do something. For HP there that I just lost. See what I mean? Like, that explosion was, like, all the way across the room there. I don't, don't know if that's a controller thing or something. I don't know. We've got a constant flow of ammo for this thing, though, which is nice. Siphon item. What does siphon item do? Destroys any items uh, and takes their power. Any stats within the items will be permanently applied to the player. Any active effects in the item will be stored in the book. Don't exactly know how that works. I have stored that. We'll see how this works. Might not be worth having that. I might have just made a mistake there, but I'm willing to try it out. Okay, I am not fire immune. Okay, interesting. Thought I was. Damn it. Okay, so it does use that, but unfortunately I only get one every 300 damage rather than three every so much damage now. It isn't as good, obviously. But I can store other actives in this, which makes me sad that I didn't get this before Baby Good Hammer. Taking some bad damage at the moment, but it's alright. My first turbo mode once, I'm not sort of looking to win it anyways. I mean, if I do, it'll be nice, but I'm not going to be upset if I don't. Server mode takes a little bit of getting used to. Man, I love this fire stick, man. It's so fun. Gusty. I think this lets me steal, doesn't it? No, it doesn't. Alright, I thought it let me steal. Oh, we can't even afford a key now. I've bought Gusty. My bad. My bad. Ball meet ball. Ah, really bad hit there. Oh my god. Okay, this guy might wreck me a little bit here. I said before, that is a blank, so... It's actually, I think, I think it's cheaper to recharge. By quite a bit. I'm only on one heart now, though. Oh, half a heart now, though. Bugger. I'm playing like crap a little bit. Oh my, okay, that was terrible. Okay, that's going to be it for this episode. Not because I made a high quality and lengthy episode, but because I'm getting shit on and I need to stop. Either way, I hope you guys did enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the next one.